Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV, where we just got done watching USA versus Europe, a guide to cultural differences from Honest Guide. This is a new channel for us. Yeah. It was very interesting. Awesome, awesome watch for sure. It was. It was very insightful. I enjoyed it. Um, great channel. I definitely subscribed. We're mm -hmm. going to be checking out more of their stuff. Whether we do reactions or not, I'm going to be watching more of their videos. Yes. Because it was great. It was. It was very entertaining. I highly suggest that you go down to the links that we've left in the description. Mm -hmm. Click on the links for their official channel for this original video. Go support them directly. And let's get into this. Let's do it. Hey there, we are well, guides from Prague, okay, Czech Republic, and this is one of our favorite pups. But somebody just recently left a nasty review complaining about the fact that the waiter simply asked them, you want a beer? The waiter brought the beer, and then once the person was finished, they brought another beer, and this guy was complaining about it. No. What is he talking about? That's the best thing. Once you're finished with your beer, they bring another one. They tell uh, us so to do me, that at from work. From the perspective of a Czech European, that's a good sign. For an American, that may be kind of weird or rude. So today we want to talk about cultural differences between art. I would not take that as rude at all. No, that's that's being attentive. Especially if it was my first beer. Yeah. Like, of course I want to. Yeah, exactly. You don't have. Yeah, they tell us. Know. They tell us to sneak that at work because a, a lot of people with our regulars, you sneak can tell it. when they want another one. But they just be like, "Hey, you want another one?" Like, we'll take the draft out of the um, cooler and not pour it yet because if they don't want it, then you'd wasted it. We don't want to waste beer. But yeah, they're always like, "You want another?" Putting one? the peer pressure on them. Yeah. Okay. Bartender over here with the sneaky <laughs> tricks. Kind of weird or rude. So today we want to talk about cultural differences between our country, our city, and United States of America. <laughs> First of all, you may be surprised what the beer looks like. Well, we have a video dedicated only to that. And second, when I walked in, I didn't look at a beer menu or something that may be quite common in United States where you have different beers on tap. Yeah. Most pubs and restaurants in Czech Republic will have one brewery on tap oh, in wow. the pub. So that's why you can walk in and just say, I'll have one. The biggest thing to me that stands out immediately is the freaking foam up top. Yeah, like, the head on top. That's yeah, not normal head. for us. Yeah, that's not normal. If you go somewhere, that's what I would consider weird or rude. Mm -hmm. You're like, hey, there's <laughs> Where's a, the rest of my beer. You, you, you cheated me out of like freaking three <laughs> ounces of beer here. So I kind of like that. You walk into a pub and you don't have million choices. You just say one. In US, not only you have a choice of beers that are on tap, quite often so there's many. five, 10, yeah. 20, but also they will ask you, do you want draft or bottle? What yep. kind of question is that? The reason <laughs> you go to a pub is to get beer on tap, to get draft exactly. beer. See, okay, yeah. this is already a difference, a huge difference in the way America is with everyone else in the world. We have too many choices. Yeah. We're spoiled as heck, <laughs> okay? I'm already seeing that. Like. Literally, mm. if we could just go into a bar and be like, I'll take one, and then they just pour it for you because you don't have any options, there would be no more Karens. There would be no more Chads, <laughs> okay? The world would be a better place, I feel oh like. Just gosh. take what you get, okay? That's fine. But then I don't want to, my choices taken away from me either, so. <laughs> Can't have it both you ways. You go to a supermarket. So for us, that's a big cultural difference that quite often we don't understand. <laughs> now a beer here costs 55 crowns, let's call that $2.50 to round it up. If you go to a stadium, to a sports event here in Prague, it's going to cost around $3. Well, <gasps> nothing like that in US. What? If you nope. go to a pub, it may cost five, six dollars. Yeah. Nope. If you go to a stadium, and it can cost 10, 12, 10, 15, yeah. 20, <laughs> 20. Oh, yeah, 20 that, easy. It's true. And then, oh, you want a hot dog? Yeah, nope. That's going to be freaking $40. No, come on. Let's be realistic. <laughs> it's like okay, seven. At least eight dollars. Yeah, yeah, eight dollars for a hot dog, which is yeah. not what you want to pay for. But beer a hot is dog. way too expensive for sure at these types of events. He's oh, yeah. right. Go to a stadium and it can cost 10, 15, even <sighs> 20 dollars. Oh, it's Honza true. hates it. Whenever he goes to a sports event, he's always shocked with the price of the beer. I myself, when I travel to US, I usually don't go to uh, sports events, but I like amusement parks. Oh, Just yeah. recently I visited Universal Studios. It was the most expensive beer I ever had yeah. in my mm -hmm. life. Especially if you're used to that. No, I could not man. believe it. 
No, I <sighs> That's what I'm saying. Like, if you get this expensive of a beer on draft and it's got a giant head on it, mm-hmm. I'm offended, dude. Yeah. I'm like, you literally, <laughs> that was like $3 that you cheated me out on right but there. But if it's 250 I probably wouldn't make such a fuss about it. Like, because that's what he said is it's like 250 Yeah, beer, I wouldn't so either. I wouldn't make that wouldn't big of either. a fuss about it. But remember when we went to the movie theater? The movie theater opened up a bar for the first time a couple yeah. of years ago. And we were like, oh, we can order beer for our movie. We ordered beers. And this is when they first opened. Open. And the beers were pretty huge, but we paid almost 20 bucks for two beers. Never again. Which is super expensive. But the next time we went in there, the beers were the same price, but significantly smaller. True. Yeah. And never again. going to amusement park, you don't go there for beer. You go there for the rides, but still $15? Yeah. Dude, it was insane. Why do you think people try to sneak stuff into... Why did I do that? <laughs> also, fun yeah. fact, I did not take a picture of the beer, but I did take a picture of the receipt. Now, the God. price of the beer, as I Ugh. said, at the amusement park was $15. But I was asked to pay more than $16. Oh, yeah, with Why? tax. It said 15 Well, tax was not included. <laughs> what is this about? We go <sighs> to a place, and I'm not only talking restaurants, but any store shop, and the price tag is the final price you pay. It's well, at 55 nice. here. Aww. It's going to cost 55 is he, is he trying to get us they to move to the, the Czech Republic? Why don't you do that in U.S.? It's just sad yeah it we is. need to do that I mean, here. imagine me i'm 11 years old i have my first oh, dollar oh my ever gosh. and i walk into a dollar store looking forward to buy something for a dollar i pick up the yeah. item go to the register a uh, dollar 50 what it's a dollar no. store everything costs a dollar not yeah. dollar store plus tax those poor kids now let's it's switch awful. from drinks to food in any place, you can get some food, right? Uh, mostly you pick something from Ooh. the menu and no further questions delicious. will be asked. Well, in US, quite often they will ask you how you want to customize. Do you want bacon? Do you want that cheese? Do you want this cheese? Do you want this or that choices. and that? It gets quite confusing for us. Yeah. And you can imagine me being 11 years old in US, in New Jersey, first walking to a restaurant, Dude. ordering a burger, so very much looking forward to it. And they asked me, how do you want your burger done? I said, I don't know, very well done, thinking that they would make it completely. Yeah, you can imagine what happened. They brought this black piece of meat that was unedible. And all my friends had a laugh about it. (laughs) Now, to be fair, if you go to a restaurant in Prague nowadays uh, and you will have a burger, they will ask you how you want it done. But once again, the the fact that you can customize anything at a restaurant in the U.S. is... It's funny that he showed Waffle House because I was like, he's calling out IHOP right now. (laughs) Okay, he's calling out IHOP very uncommon for us here. So if you come to a pub or a restaurant in Czech Republic, don't expect that you can customize every single item on the menu. That's why there's a menu with things that you pick from. I really Ooh, hope you do. I wish it's, I could say that at it's work. Like he's talking about <laughs> burgers specifically. So like every single place, there's 10, 15 burger joints around yeah. within like 10 miles from us. They all make them differently, mm-hmm. dude. Some put on pickles, onions, and mayonnaise only. Some yeah. put on ketchup, mustard, uh, tomato, lettuce, and like I just want, I just want meat, cheese, mm-hmm. maybe some onions, and that's it. That's all I like on my burger. So I'm glad that we have those choices. But sometimes I'll go to a place for the first time, and I'm just like, I just get their burger, yeah. and I'm like, oh my gosh, wait, I don't like ketchup on my burgers. Okay, <laughs> ketchup dipping my fries in, yes, yeah. not on my burger. You're okay? right. Who's our subscribers from the United States? We love you guys. Uh, So to uh, say something that we consider to be amazing in U.S. that we don't have here is water. Free water at a restaurant, at a bar, anywhere. You sit down at a table and in U.S. you get a glass of water. Never happens in the Czech Republic ever. Not only that, if you ask for tap water, quite often they will say, no, 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 we don't serve tap water and you will get a tiny little bottle of water that you will pay for two, three, four dollars. It's ridiculous. Oh, wow. Okay. I know so a restaurant where I go to, and I will always say, can I get uh, tap water? And they're like, no, we can't do that. We can only sell you a bottle. And I quite often say, I'll pay you the same price that I'll pay for the bottle for tap water. Like, no, we can't do that. Crazy. That is crazy. Is, I, I wonder why that is. We are here to thanks to our partner, which is Surfshark VPN. We're actually on the border with Germany. Also, many 
culture differences between them and us. But if you don't want any differences while traveling, but mainly while surfing the web, you can use Surfshark VPN because those differences will be gone. Let's say that you're traveling between US and Czech Republic and you like to watch some films that are only available in US and you come to Czech Republic and those films may be gone. Well, you can open Surfshark VPN on your mobile device, on your iPad, on your computer, and you can pretend that the device is not in Czech Republic, but still in US. And therefore, That's you can continue watching cool. whatever content there is that may be restricted only to one country. Uh, the example between Czech and US is only one, but you can put your device virtually anywhere around the world. We've had to Ian use Hulza, VPNs. Use Surfshark VPN. If you want to try it out, you can do so. Uh, use our code, which is Honest Guide, and you'll get 83% off in three months completely for free. The link is below the video in the description. And now let's cut. We might have to use that, honestly, because yeah. we have had to use VPNs. We get sent a lot of videos from all around the world, and nothing worse than getting sent a video. You click on it. And it's blocked. It's blocked. This is blocked in your country. Yeah. So, yeah, we've had to use VPNs before. But I never from thought about that Germany traveling abroad. Like, if I want to watch the movies that I'm used to watching. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah we don't travel cool. abroad, Pop where I'm describing the differences between yeah. U.S. and Czech Republic. Now let's talk about service in restaurants and pubs because that may be a bit of a shock for you when you come to Prague. Uh, yes, quite often it is rude and not polite at all. That's also a huge difference for us when we go to US and um, a waitress will come to our table and That's she will a little introduce extra. herself and a she little. will smile and she will maybe recommend something from the menu. That would never happen here. <laughs> I mean, it's changing, don't get me wrong. Uh, service is getting better. But if you go to like a local place, a dive bar, which I would consider this place to be, quite often they'd be grumpy and it takes a long time for them to get to know you. And after maybe a 20th visit, they will share a little smile with you. Not like in US. First time wow. visitor, oh, I love seeing coming you to our restaurant. My name is Wendy. Can I take your order? Hey, Wendy. Speaking of Wendy, what those people go and take your order and they say that and everything. They go back behind to put your order in and they are mean. Yeah. They're all oh, talking it's like a smack veil. about you. Yeah. It's a veil inside it's a the kitchen. Veil. It's we because they work person. for those tips, man. Yep. We're, they're putting on a show. They're putting okay. on that show. It's a mess. When I was man. first called Darling or Honey in a restaurant in the US, I was like, they, she really loves me. She just. <laughs> <laughs> no, <dude. laughs> I should give her no, my number. At least, at least there, <laughs> when you have that person after 20 visits who breaks a smile with you, it's true. It's yeah. genuine. Okay, you don't know yeah. if somebody actually likes you even after their 20, your 20th visit with them. You're right. Because they're working it's for the tip. The fake they're going to smile at you from the first <laughs> visit to the 100th. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I, I like the bartender here, but he never calls me darling. <laughs> I, I, let's, let's make it stay that way, okay? We're tough guys. Even though the two He's of us silly. consider the service at places in the United States very good and very nice and very polite, there is one thing that we consider to be very rude. And that is, you're finishing your meal or maybe you're halfway through and suddenly a bill lands on your table. What is that? Are you kicking me out? Oh, that would yeah. never happen here. Any business, restaurant, pub, coffee place tries to keep you in the place as long as possible. You're done with your meal, they'll offer you a dessert. You're done with your dessert, they will offer you coffee. You're done with your coffee, maybe you want to start over and have another appetizer. In other words, <laughs> they want to keep you in as long as possible. You have to ask for the bill. In nice. Your, yeah, the places where I've worked at, they literally have a turnover, an average turnover rate for their tables. They're trying and they to, want get to, to get you to keep them it. Out under a certain amount, they want to turn that table over as many possible times as they can throughout the day. So yeah. them laying down that receipt is them kicking, a, you a out. kicking it's yeah. not kicking you it's out, but it's like, hey, here you go. Like, yeah. hmm. pay me. You got other <laughs> stuff this. to do today. You mm. need to get on about your day. Yeah. Like, get out of here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yes, very often. You're halfway through. Here's your bill. I'm like, well, maybe I want another something. No, no, no. The yeah. I don't ever do table. that at the bar too, because I want just you to weird. have more drinks. But like, especially if you only had one, and I just yeah. hand you your bill. Like, if you tell me you're waiting for a table, it's different. Like, it's different from the bar moving. to the tables. Yeah. But yeah. Still. Speaking of the bill, he got it at the bar. Tipping, and that can create some big issues because that's a big cultural difference. 
In US, quite often we get asked, do you want to tip 15, 18, 20, 25%? which for us is like, whoa, that's a lot. A quarter of the bill just tips uh, because it's a tip-based country or tip-based business. Oh, he was happy there. In huh? Czech, that <laughs> used to be very, very different. I mean, my dad would only round up the bill to the next higher number. If the bill was 99, he would round it up to 100. I believe most of our dads and mothers still do that. Nowadays, it's changing even here and tipping goes from 10% higher if you're satisfied with the service. If the service is really bad, some people will simply not tip. If that would happen in the US that you would not leave a single cent on a tip, I've experienced people running out the restaurant and be like, what happened? What did we do wrong? Like, why did you not tip? So tipping is very, very different. And I'm curious what you will uh, say about that in the comments. Where, whatever country you're from, I want to read what's the average tipping in your country. Well, I, we have a friend that lives in Liverpool, and we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. And there, if you get hired, you get paid a decent wage. You're not expecting to live off of your tips. Um, and here, when we both were hired at the restaurant that we worked at, you're making below minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're kind of relying on your tips. That's why you go above and beyond yeah. to deliver like amazing service, very friendly atmosphere. Do you need extra butter with that? Do you need any extra dipping sauces or do you like anything? Mm -hmm. Literally, how many refills do you want? I'll go and get 10 of them. Yeah. Okay. It's, you're really working for those tips. Mm -hmm. And I've heard it, you know, from a lot of people like, shouldn't you just tip the guys in the back? They're the ones making the food. Well, <laughs> they're getting paid. Paid. Hold on a they're second. They're getting paid much higher than above minimum yeah, wage. So it's are. like... The people up here who are making, I mean, back when I first got hired, minimum wage is around $9 mm -hmm. an hour. It's went up since then. I was making 4 or $5 an hour. So it's like you're you're making significantly less mm -hmm. than what minimum wage is. Yeah. And that's, yeah, I don't know. I, it, it's so crazy. When I started serving, it was we were making $2.13 an hour. So your paychecks were nothing you had to work 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 now that the minimum wage is going up it's a little bit more i wouldn't say it's even you still don't ha you still have to work for your tips yeah if you, especially if you want to make money because that's all being taxed but um yeah it's definitely steadily going up but yeah working for your tips is such a it's such a normal thing to me but like now what we're seeing now is like everybody's asking for tips. Like you'll yes. go to the freaking gas station and, and pay for gas. And it's like, would you like to tip? every single it's thing, so even when the person is making several dollars above minimum wage, yeah. they hand you the receipt. And it's like the tip is thing is on there. I'm like, I, you make you're not a server. You're not. I tip servers, bartenders. <laughs> I tip uh, barbers, you know, mm -hmm. people who cut hair, yeah. things like that. And I think with barbers, they even make. A livable wage i don't think that they i i, I don't know enough yeah. about it actually so <laughs> um but yeah i the tipping culture is very different because the pay like the baseline pay starting from the beginning is mm -hmm. very different yeah. so yeah i don't know people who don't tip when they go out here i think it's like well why not just go to a fast food restaurant yeah you already know what you're signing up for you know that these people don't even make a minimum wage so i don't know it's a bit weird. It is. It's, it's now this definitely cultural a whole other difference video. <laughs> is not only huge, but is I consider it to be evil, and that is packaging and garbage in general. I'm not talking about if you go to a place where it's a takeout or you go to a fast food. Yes, they put it in a paper bag, either if you're in the U.S. or here. But I'm talking about if you go to a restaurant and they create so much garbage, so much waste, even though you're at a restaurant. Quick example. Mostly if you get a drink at a bar in the US, they put a napkin under it. So mm -hmm. it soaks the moist that's running under it. Well, that's for one use only. Afterwards, they will throw away the napkin. How about they use coasters? Yeah. Because you can reuse the coaster. And that's just one very simple example. Another one is if you order a ketchup at this place, they will bring it either a bottle, some places in the US do that too, or they put it in a um, ceramic cup that they clean afterwards. Not that they grab 20 ketchups and throw them next to your burger. Yes. Or even in McDonald's in Czech Republic, you pay for every single tiny packaging oh, wow. of any sauce, any ketchup. So you think about if you want one or two. In US, uh, yeah, can I get some ketchup? Here you go, here's a million ketchups in tiny yeah. little bags. We no, are so very that. wasteful here, I mean, you we guys really are. are. All Michael Bay packaging, like, hey, yeah, that's a uh, plastic <laughs> bag, let's put it in a paper bag and let's put more packaging and pack it up. You want it to go? Yeah, let's pack it up more. 
<laughs> Dude, it's making me think of Chick Fil A because you get Chick Fil A here now. You ask for Chick Fil A sauce, they're giving you twelve in a minute. Yeah, minimum. they are. And it comes in its own plastic bag. Yeah, yeah it's They've good. wrapped it's it up, seat. tied it up, and it's inside of your other paper bag. Yes. And it, I'm like, dang, twelve! I asked for some Chick Fil A sauce. You gave me literally twelve. They just scooped a whole handful. Holy crap! In the me meanwhile, in Europe, yeah, let's let's get rid of plastic straws. They really destroy the universe. There's going to be one hell of a discussion under this video. I absolutely <laughs> love you guys from US and I love going to US just so you know. We both do. Please don't cancel my Esta. <laughs> I'll just drop the beer for a minute. Hey, we have states here canceling plastic straws too. We yeah. have we have some some I don't know. I don't know what to say, but we have that too a little bit. You don't cancel my Esta. Now let's drop the beer for a minute and let's talk about coffee and coffee culture differences Ooh, between gladly, USA gladly and Europe. Sir. Triggered already? It. Well, you'll get triggered more. Yes, in <laughs> Europe, we do not consider this to be a cup of coffee. That's a gallon of coffee. No, if yeah, it's that's more than a gallon, it's over. not coffee. This is a cup of coffee. By the way, shocker, they have a cup of coffee in this pup. Uh, it's served in a ceramic cup. It's this oh, size. Wow. You have a plate under it. It makes that little noise when you put it down. I love you that sometimes noise. Sometimes even get a spoon with it so you can mix your little espresso. No this way. This is how you drink it. Not a gallon. Doesn't fit. Okay, dude. Okay. <laughs> this is my most recent coffee cup, okay? I don't know if you can see the size of it. Oh. It's like... It's kind of overkill, and I love it so much, okay? You can literally brew an entire pot of coffee in this. Yeah, you can. It's so wonderful. Either way. But that is, before I even watched this video, as soon as I saw the title, I was like, I already know the differences in my head that I'm thinking of. America is so bigger is better. Bigger, bigger, more, more, more. 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 Like our portion sizes, I've Ridiculous. never been to Europe. I don't know the restaurants there, but I would assume that their portion sizes are significantly smaller it's than It's like ours. what you're going to eat right then. Yeah. It's enough for you to eat but right then. Always, every time you go to a restaurant, the portion sizes are so big, you can literally eat it two or three times. But then most leftovers. people still eat it all in one. So yeah. it kind of, it's like, hey, you can take this home. You can eat it for later. You can have it for the next day for lunch. But if it's no, I'm going to eat it all you, right now. You're still just going to munch I'm gonna on it. I'm going to eat it all right <gasps> now. It's so awful. It's 2,000 calories. I, I don't care. It's done. The 2,000 calories <laughs> down the drain. And then you In have Starbucks who has the freaking so you can drive and sip on your cups. little coffee soup throughout the day. Big difference, big shocker for us when we go to places in U.S. and they simply don't serve something like this. Hold your horses. I know that coffee culture in the U.S. is changing depending on which state you live in, if you live in a city and so on. But still mostly people think this is coffee and you cannot get this. <laughs> That's I, really a size? It's sad for us Europeans. <laughs> Look at Can I get a cup of coffee? You want Venti Grande, Grande XL, Grande XL. I'm not a fan XL. of Starbucks, so. Like the Italians drink it? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold this on a next second. That's not difference may sound <laughs> weird, but I believe it should be addressed. And that is restrooms and toilet sizes uh, in restaurants and pubs. And I'm not talking about the actual seat size, but I'm talking about you have a big pub and there's one toilet. There's like one restroom for the entire pub where there's like hundreds of people. And the stalls where you can like sit to do number two are very like see-through. The way they like, there's no it. privacy. Yes. Like there's okay. no door at the that bottom. That is something like if that is horrible. Okay, so when at my work, at my job, before we got the bathrooms, we just, I've been working at this place for almost 10 years and we just got the bathrooms remodeled. When you go to sit down, there is a gap this much. And the, the bathrooms are so small. So if there's a long line of people waiting, they have to awkwardly stand in front of that stall while they're waiting if there's more people to let them in. And you're staring and you at can each see, other. And you can literally see somebody and you can make eye contact with them. That is so, like, you have a stall because of privacy, obviously. So why make that gap in there? I'm so glad they fixed that because that was so awkward and just you're not You're their bartender. They're like, look, is that my bartender? Yeah, exactly. It's so weird. Oh, I'm so Hey, glad you got my drink it. yet? <laughs> Never in my life is horrible. Ugh. Somebody peeks, they can see you. Yeah, it's kind of strange. And girls talk about that a lot. Yep. Both our <laughs> girls talk about it, how like it's kind of weird that people can really uh, see you. So that's a big difference. If there's a big is... pub here, it has many restrooms. Wow. Many yeah, those doors are and it genius. Can 
you know, uh, do the business people need and oh, accommodate yeah. many what? people at the same time. Oh, we and need to take notes from them for sure. We should have cultural doors differences like that. between our continents. There's many more. We can talk about uh, different units. We can talk about different forms of transportation, how we move what? around yeah. cities and countries, how big are our cars and your cars, and many more topics. So let us know in the comments if oh. you want us to cover more topics. And while you're there, please don't be mad at us. This was not made to insult you, only to give I'm you perspectives upset. on our culture habits and your cultural habits that we experience when we go over to your lovely continent that we love to visit. But sometimes we're just like, <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> We're the honest dudes from Prague. That dude's name is Honza. My name is Janek. We go by the Honest Guide, our channel full of content. So if you're planning Amazing. to come to Prague, Europe, uh, check out our videos. We do scams, we show you beers, we show you restaurants, coffee places, and cultural differences. I'll see yeah. you next week, Sunday. I thoroughly enjoyed this video. Yeah, it was Chuck great. Word at the end, I'm going to teach you, we always teach Czech words, is uh, how to say cultural differences. Kulturní rozdíly. Kulturní rozdíly, cultural differences. Or if you want to say one cultural rozdíly. difference, it's kulturní rozdíl. Rozdíl difference, kulturní cultural. Kulturní rozdíl. Oh gosh, my I can't, tongue I can't is so do that. like That was not... too much. Oh. I butchered Oof. that, but that was lovely. That was nice that he teaches you two words. Yeah, I'm definitely subscribing to that channel mm -hmm. and gonna check out more of their stuff. Very that was uh, cultural differences. I am not <laughs> upset by any means. These videos have been yeah. so awesome getting to know another another culture and if we were to go to europe we would be making a video just like this be like well in our country we don't do stuff like this you know that it's weird to us like it would it would be because we're so used to the excess we wouldn't be used i think to we teeny tiny little have a <laughs> lot of things that we could like adopt from each other you mm -hmm. know the more that these cultures spread um, and like pollinate each other, I think the better off we'll be. Oh, yeah. It's very easy to understand very quickly. They're like, hey, this is actually a better way of doing things. Mm -hmm. We should probably pick that up. Yep. Why are we not doing that? Okay, this is not a better way of doing things. I'm going to keep it the way that I, I'm doing it now. Yep. But it's very easy, but you don't know those things until you Experience allow yourself them. to be cross pollinated yep. with, you know? Yep. I think a lot of people just put up these boundaries. They're like, I'm from here. I'm going to do things the way that they're done here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know even how things are done around the yeah. world. Um, I just, this is the way that I like them done. And that's it. I don't need to know anything else. And mm. I don't like that. I don't like that idea, that mindset. This just brings you know? us back to Regeneration Nation. Regenerating the nation. Combining us what all nation? together. But like getting us all together. Maybe we should add an S on the end of it. Nations. Regeneration Nations. You're right, Nations. Or mm. we have an island that we haven't told anybody about. And eventually we're gonna go, we're gonna open it up to the public, and we started our own nation. <gasps> Roses. Okay, it's kind of like a cult. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just kidding. No. We don't. Please oh don't gosh. start looking for our island. We don't have an island, and we're not gonna create a cult. Everybody should have their own free will. But we want everything to be better and positive. You and sure, everybody should have up. their own free will. <laughs> have you met that guy, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Mark does not need his own free Every will. Every Mark that's watching right now is going to feel highly attacked. Mark needs a good woman in his life <laughs> to tell him what his free will should be. You have to tell me what my free will should be sometimes. He's yeah, like, you're no, right. That is like a today, terrible he wanted idea. to have he wanted to have an americano. It already has four espresso shots in it. He wanted me to double it and I said, "No, it's already got four." Just live in life on the edge, okay? <laughs> I wanted a, you know, one of those crazy starbucks coffees and i would like for you to save your heart okay i want you to live long with me right i appreciate it i appreciate you taking my free will out of my own hands sometimes <laughs> and i'm just joking by the way um anyways that was a great video that definitely was. go in the link support their official channel subscribe watch some more of their videos and leave some suggestions for other videos yes, like this you please. would like us to this check was out so fun I it was it. fun <laughs> all right we'll see you on the next one bye friends peace I'm not scared of your love, so show me